Many companies in the chemical industry use formula or index-based pricing because, there's, first of all, there's a lot of price transparency with more commoditized type products in the industry. And so some of them want to leverage that information to help set their prices, and they do that in the form of some kind of a formula or some kind of an index that's used. Also, there are a number of companies that just want to have a level of certainty about how their price is going to be set. And formulas and indices at least give some sense of predictability about how a price is going to be set from one time period to another, whether it's changing every month, whether it's changing every quarter, or maybe even changing on a a longer time interval than that. Hi, I'm Robert Smith. I'm the industry advisor for chemicals at PriceFX. Prior to joining PriceFX, I spent over 40 years in the chemical industry and about 20 of those leading pricing initiatives, business process redesign, and specifically was the director of pricing at a large chemical company. What we want to talk about today is a capability that makes it significantly easier to be able to manage those formula prices and index prices as you're running your business from day to day. challenges that chemical companies face in trying to manage formula prices or index prices is, as we've seen in our current environment, lots of dynamic price movement going on because of changes in supply and demand, imbalances in supply chain. And so prices have been moving pretty rapidly, generally upward. But anyone who's worked in the industry for a number of years has seen periods of significant price volatility and times when prices will change very rapidly, maybe even weekly in some cases, but certainly at least monthly. When you consider the, all the elements that are in formula and index prices and the number of products that are impacted by them and the number of customers for those products, There's a lot of complexity that comes up in trying to manage all that, keep those prices accurate, keep them up to date with the customer, and to make sure that uh, those prices are changing frequently enough to offset the cost changes that are underlying the production of the product. That's pretty difficult to do in the world of Microsoft Excel. Take something that's got more horsepower and more capability to be able to do that than a product like Microsoft Excel. That's where a product like PriceFX comes in and can be extremely helpful in simplifying the task of managing formula and index-based pricing. Something to keep in mind when thinking about managing formula and index-based pricing, the situations that these formulas and indices get applied to often are with very large customers. So the sales revenue that's on the table or it's at stake, it's under management with these formulas can be very large, um, many millions of dollars. So it's important to be able to get those formulas correct, to apply the prices to invoices correctly. And it's important to be able to do it in a timely manner because they also reflect some change that's taking place in manufacturing operations where costs are going up or where other costs in freight and distribution are going up and the seller or the producer wants to be able to recover those costs as quickly as possible. That's probably you that I'm talking to that's just trying to get that cost recovery. And if you miss an opportunity to change the formula price when a contract allows you to do that, then you're gonna have a delayed recognition of margin because you didn't get the price applied in a timely manner. So there's some significant revenue that's on the table with this, and it's important to be able to do this accurately and efficiently in order to maintain your margins and to recognize revenue as quickly as you can. Certainly a failure to manage formula pricing well can have an adverse impact on your customer relationship. Um, Just failure to get the price right, particularly if 
that failure results in an adverse impact on the customer. You build them for too much. It erodes trust in the relationship and is a place where you, you've had to uh, use some of your brownie points, so to speak, to repair something where you'd rather have saved them for some other opportunity. So it's important to get the price set correctly and to apply it to invoices correctly. That's what having a formula pricing capability that you can set quickly and accurately and just forget about it in terms of it's going to give you the right price from one time period to another. That's why that's very important. So in price effects, you can literally set it and forget it in terms of setting your formula or index price. Inside our system, you'll have the ability to set up your price formula or your price index that you want to use with the customer. It can be linked by APIs to external databases. So if you're using an external database for raw material price or for some kind of a market index from companies like ISIS or Technon or Platts, those can be linked directly into price effects so that every time the price is supposed to be adjusted, it'll automatically receive the data feed that's needed to do an accurate calculation of the formula or index based price. And it'll publish that price to whatever the system of record is that's going to do the invoicing to the customer. And you'll have the accurate price every time. And you won't have to worry about going back into a tool like Microsoft Excel every month and manually recalculating the price. So the number of errors that you potentially will have will be reduced significantly, probably completely eliminated as a result of using price effects. What's important about being able to deliver an accurate price for invoicing is just making sure the customer doesn't object to your invoice and delay payment because it was billed at a price that was too high and uh, you have a period of time that it takes to resolve a dispute. It also impacts trust in the relationship. Of course, you know, another potential consequence is that you underbuild the customer because the price was wrong. Unfortunately, in some cases, the customer will never bother to tell you that but you'll experience a loss of revenue and a loss of margin as a result of that error that may go undiscovered for a long period of time. Timely and accurate pricing as a result of using price effects is an important outcome because in the current environment where we see a lot of fluctuation in costs and market indices, things are changing rapidly. And there's a certain time window typically in which you have agreed with your customer when you will be able to adjust your price. And so it's important to be able to very quickly take those external cost factors and indices, do the calculation, apply it to determine the appropriate sales price and get that applied to invoices before that time window expires when you can change the price every month or quarter or whatever the time interval is. So speed and efficiency is important and making sure that you get the right price the right time so that you don't have a gap in your revenue or margin versus your business expectations. So in summary, can you build effective, efficient, timely formula and index-based pricing in a price FX? Absolutely. Much more efficiently than you can using other tools. So using price effects to help with formula and index based pricing is a great opportunity to make sure you're receiving your revenue in a timely manner and that you don't have any loss in margin because you failed to apply updated costs and indices in a timely manner when the customer permits it with the contract that you have in place with them already. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can go to the SAP store or you can learn more by visiting pricefx.com, going to our learning center and going to the tab in learning center for chemical and process industries where we'll have more information that will be helpful to you. Thank you for joining in and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to pass it along to one of your colleagues. Thank you.